Howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here, Greens Boys and Girls, and welcome to this another brand new day. Yes, indeed, a brand new day. We're in I Am Very Blue, <laughs> with a blue undershirt and a blue overshirt. But luckily, my skin isn't blue and, and all that, though. Just my, just my clothing. And I am wearing, in fact, blue jeans, so I am extremely blue today. I'm a blueberry. Thumbs up that though for the Shelton Washington weather plague rat and spider report last night when I went walkies it was it was mildly raining just mildly I had my umbrella and I used it and sometimes I didn't and sometimes I did but oh I went to Safeway for my walkies because I needed to buy some soda for today and when I came out of the store oh boy was it raining so it was it was wet i was very wet by the time i got home yay <coughs> excuse me and it is still raining now joy so it's going to be a wet day it's going to be dark i can still see clouds through the trees but for it's raining gray thumbs up <laughs> plague rat report of course i mean we're we're heading into our third we haven't even finished the first wave in the u.s and we're already on the third so we we never got control of the first wave but now we're in the third spike so and of course as it gets colder it's going to get worse uh, so joy on that yeah and of course most people inside of stores and such wearing masks the ones that i go into places that i don't go into like it looks like there's some places that are like there might be aa meetings or church type meeting things as i go walkies downtown and only rarely only rarely do i see people wearing masks in those and it's insane because it just takes one it just takes one so thumbs up on that. I'm wearing my masks. I'm doing what I have to, best I can. Yay. And of course, <coughs> for the spider report, the spider up in the window, I had seen her through my parallax vision as I was moving. Not the parallax vision, but the parallax effect. You know, with the background not moving, me moving, and her moving only slightly because of my head movements able to track her down with my binocular vision. She's doing fine up there. And in the corner, the other garden spider is doing well. She didn't freak out too badly when my cat knocked the box out of the window and it terrified her when I had to pick it up. So she's doing okay. A very good thing. And there's a couple other smaller spiders and they're eating the bugs that fly around in here. Thumbs up for that. A good thing it's good to be surrounded by life even if it's I mean all life is predatory in some way so thumbs up on that but no hamsters for a while I'm gonna be getting some somehow and my kitty's still with me and alive and good and, and they're spiders so yay it's a good thing a very good thing also what I really wanted to show I got this in my box the other day, and I just want to make sure that there's nothing incriminating that shows up here. But this was <clears throat> sent on the 13th of October. It did not show up until afterward at my P.O. box. But inside is a card. And not just any card. It is a... <laughs> repurposed joyous festive season to a happy 58th birthday card from Kara Lemon Lemongrab. Thank you very, very much. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, it would have showed up on time if, of course, the Trump administration hadn't been busy dismantling the post office here in the U.S. from the inside to try and invalidate all of the mail-in voting. But it did show up. Thank you very, very much. Greatly appreciate it. Definitely a thumbs up. And the fact that it's a repurposed festive joyous occasions card, you know, that's cool too. <laughs> In fact, that, that makes it funny. Thank you. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you everybody that sends me anything at all. It is greatly appreciated. Thumbs up and thank you. A good thing. <coughs> <coughs> 
Ugh. I feel fine health-wise, but my sinuses, while doing better, are still cloggy, and I am still hacking because wet, leaf mold, allergies, so I'm gonna be hacking and coughing and, and stuff like that, but health-wise, I actually feel great. I, I, after the first day when I woke up and my sinuses went insane and I was eating antihistamine tablets, I have taken some tablets periodically in the days since, but nothing ever that bad has happened. And I, like I said, I feel great. So it must have been just allergies and health-wise still going, going, doing good. I thought maybe... <clears throat> that it was a cold or something brought over by the kids because as stated my housemates take care of one of the neighbors bunches of kids and making sure that they get their school work done and such like that so we have kids aplenty here and kids are just petri dishes so yay on that and also as a minor thing you may have noticed that i have this nice little wound here on my hand that's actually i was just doing my wash and there's the agitator in the middle and I accidentally whammed my hand down on the great plastic agitator and it ripped my skin so that was fun but the main thing I wanted to talk about is something that I actually was thinking about while lying in bed this morning because I woke up early of course it wasn't too warm or too cold I mean, I went to bed and I was like barely able to keep my eyes open, barely making it into bed. And then two hours later, boink. But I didn't stay awake. It was just boink and then roll and back to sleep. And then boink, roll and back to sleep. Because I don't move when I'm asleep. Unlike other people that when they're asleep, they move, I don't. And I've got verification from that, from like when I've gone in for my sleep studies because of my sleep apnea. They have mirrors, mirrors, cameras to watch you. I don't move. It's like I'm dead. I mean, there's, you're supposed to have skeletal paralysis when you're dreaming. That keeps you from flopping around and such when you're, when you're, when you're dreaming. But I just don't move. So if I'm uncomfortable and have to move in any way, shape, or form, I have to wake up entirely so I can move, fall back to sleep, and then it's like I'm dead again. But the thing I was thinking about this morning when I woke up at around 4 o'clock, before I finally got up at 5 o'clock, have you ever played the game Stardew Valley? Because I've tried many, many times to play the game Stardew Valley. And you know why I can't really get into Stardew Valley? It's so stressful. Oh my god, my levels of stress just climb the moment I start playing that game. Now I say this as a person who, to relax, plays the Creeper World series, where you have to think and move fast to take over an implacable foe that is going to destroy you unless you do everything right. I find that nice and pleasant, and I can relax to it. Stardew Valley is so frickin' stressful. And you say, how can Stardew Valley be stressful? You don't just have a farm you've got to take care of. There's a village. There's the people. You have to meet the people. You don't just have to meet them. You have to befriend the people. If then when you befriend them, you have to give them gifts. And then there's events that happen on certain days and you have to remember people's birthdays and then you have to go and do things with these people and you can possibly end up marrying at least one or two and oh my God. All I want to do is take care of my farm. That's, oh my God, Stardew Valley is stressful. I don't want to have to deal with all these people. I don't want to have to make it to events or the people are disappointed in me. Holy smokes. Give me a dungeon. You know, where if I make a wrong move, I'm going to have an axe in the back of my skull and my corpse is going to be rotten in a pit. That's nice and anxiety-freeing for me. 
this taking care of people and making sure I deal with people and getting onto the people schedules and going off and doing things with people. I go, I play video games to get away from that. Oh my God, Stardew Valley is just a stress factory and a half. <laughs> it's rough. But I just wanted to mention that because, yeah, I, I honestly feel that way. I cannot play Stardew Valley for long because I, it is just too, too much, too stressful. Yeah, give me the games where it's like the fate of the world rests on my shoulders. That's relaxing. This having to deal with people so I don't disappoint them. Ah! <laughs> Thumbs up. And of course, is something just to relax with after that. I was, I can't remember, I was probably reading an article. Yes, it was. I was off of the Cracked website talking about how dogs laugh. And it is really dog laughter. Dogs laugh because they recorded the sounds and played it to other dogs. And then dogs react like the other dogs are playing with them because this is laughter. It is social laughter. They don't do it for us. They do it for them. And in case there's other dogs around, those dogs will enjoy it too. It is social laughter. As they pointed out, that's why you don't really laugh when you're alone. Stuff that you find funny when you're alone, you may snort, you may burst air out your nose. You'll go like, oh, that's really good. But you don't really laugh. But if you're with other people, you would be. Laughter is social. Now, I do laugh out loud a lot on my own. I mean, I watch Call Me Kevin videos, and some of his stuff is so freaking hysterical, especially his Among Us videos that he had done, where I was just laughing so hard I could barely breathe. And some Markiplier things, I have laughed just incredibly. So you can laugh on your own. But it is largely a social thing. People that won't laugh at something by themselves will laugh with other people around. So, thumbs up on that. But yeah, dogs laugh. And it's a panting sound. It's like, it's not a growl. It's like if you're playing tug of war with your dog and it's doing that <laughs> panting, grunting t sort of sound, that's dog laughter. They're having a blast. Boy, are they ever. So, thumbs up on that just thought I'd mention because dogs are cool I mean I'm not a dog person I mean we know we don't choose what animals we are a person of you know I've had dogs most of my life it's only when I got into my adult life that I stopped having dogs then when I was married we got a dog <clears throat> so I mean dogs are fine I have no issues with dogs had dogs like dogs they're great but cats and hamsters are what resonate. I didn't choose to like cats, I just do. I didn't choose to like hamsters. When I first saw a hamster, it just went, oh. And I realized that, boy, I do. You don't choose these things, but yeah, I, dogs are great. But I like, I like most animals, you know, like, and I try to at least mentally because it doesn't matter in the outside world, my power is nothing. But all animals deserve life, even my most hated, disgusting creature, the naked mole rat. Oh, I don't like this creature at all, but even though it's hideous and ugly, it still deserves life. It's a fine creature. In fact, it is pretty much the only mammalian colony creature. They live in colonies with like a, a queen and stuff and they have casts, so it's amazing. But they are just absolutely hideous. Google image for naked mole rat if, if, you, you, if you're ready for it. They are just disgusting looking creatures. But they deserve light just because I don't like the way they look doesn't mean that they're bad. Seems up flat. And of course, I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments my community tab, and I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. I'm not reading the comments right now, except accidentally. I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. 
If I mispronounce the username, I forgot where I was for a moment. If I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker, and even though I count an American Sign Language on the fingers of this hand with my depression, fibro, ADHD, grieving, and more, I'm amazed that sometimes I can even remember what my name is, because sometimes I have been known to forget. We have Z underscore the writer, thumbs up. Slowed down, greatly appreciated. Mamba TV, thumbs up and thank you. We have Sean Vilar, thumbs up. There is HBTZ, thumbs up and thank you much. Angel Zuniga, sure hope I'm close, thank you very much. Cynthia Hanna, greatly appreciated. Confused L29, thumbs up and good to see you. KJ the Kid, O Y L W, thumbs up. Monkey D. Luffy, thank you very, very much. Nana Kovic, greatly appreciated. Tommy Nelson, thumbs up. Then there's uh, two eyes. I-I-A-R-S-K-I-I, -I -I, thumbs up. And then there is, of course, Russian Timing. Good to see you in the comments. Thank you very much. We have Krulis, XOXO, thumbs up. Earl Sweatshirt, thumbs up and thank you. Kronos PL, good to see you. We need to continue speaking. We have Clueless Gamers, greatly appreciated. Christopher Thomas, thumbs up and thank you. Suicidal Wolf Suicide? Oh, that's a heck of a name, especially it's not written in like English, but like characters. Doesn't make sense, but hopefully you know what I mean. Then we have Joseph Aaron, thumbs up and thank you. Tori Jones, greatly appreciated. Cypher 2, thumbs up and thank you. Jared223, thumbs up. And Colin Reisnauer, greatly appreciated. Each and every one of you, whether I thanked you or not, you get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people. It is appreciated to no end. And if you, <coughs> excuse me could check out my various things down below. I have Twitter, Facebook, Patreon.com. If you could become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. And if you'd like to help me out financially without sending money through the patronage, I have a PayPal link down below if you could check that out. And if you'd like to help me out without sending money, I have an Amazon wish list link as well with things like cat food and hamster bedding. If you could check that out, that would be very awesome. Now, do not feel obligated. I do not feel entitled. And if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes. I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. If you could toss me a like, I appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence. A definite thumbs up. And if you could hit the notification bell and the subscription button, that would be cool. Does it work? No clue. What does it do? I have no ideas. I don't use it myself, but hey, trust big tech. <laughs> and, of course, the lobster hat wearing duck head of judgment suffers from a surplus of scorn. It is ready, not eager, but ready to cast that scorn upon all that it finds disappointing. Please do not disappoint the lobster hat wearing duck head of judgment. It suffers from a surplus of scorn. And of course, I don't even know why it's a point of contention, but it is. Black Lives Matter, damn it. Now, forever, and always. And justice for everybody that the jack-booted, brown-shirted, fascist thugs in police uniforms keep brutalizing and murdering in their homes and on American streets. Please, wear a mask when you go out, wash your hands, try not to touch your face, practice social distancing, and don't go out unless you absolutely have to. It's horrific, it's painful, but it's the only way that we're going to get through this without everybody getting sick. So, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend. Practice self-care. Be as creative as you can. And if you backslide during these times, it's all right. We are in survival mode. You cannot repair your house until the storm is over. <laughs>